Hey guys, Mikas here for another episode of Your Live Electronic Music Tutorials where I make music in real time, non-stop. There's no edit, I just started right now and I will keep on going until I have really about a two minute long track with minimal arrangement but really what I want to do the most is create. By create I mean I'm gonna compose the bass, put everything together to really create a groove that I can learn with template that's gonna be on the site for MikasMusic.com. Wait, did I said we make dance music.com guys? Yes, it's gonna be templates that's gonna be on my site, we make dance music.com for Logic Pro X, Ableton, and FL Studio. So the track you're hearing right now, which I finished after I recorded this episode, of course, is the result of this episode. So I'm thinking Anjuna Deep, you know, deep melodic progressive house, or deep melodic house, or deep melodic techno, not too sure really. Those are kind of all the same. And in dance music, there's this trend of always inventing a new genre, but it's really always kind of the same. So let's call it the Melodic House for today, and Judy Deep inspired kind of 122 BPM. I will use, especially for this episode, kind of external instruments, so it's going to translate better into other DAWs. I know I make most of my thing in Logic Pro X plugins, so it's best to the Logic Pro X user, but now I'm going to use Silent, maybe Sound, not too certain. So let's get started, guys, onto this brand new episode. 204, I mean, so I'm to 303 to watch, and I made actually for the episode 303 a tribute to the TB303, which came out very, very strong. So, guys, you have to check back a little bit for episode 300, very strong episode again, melodic techno. So, you have to check back that done before, it's always interesting. If you want to know, oh, that's the wrong, if you want to know. I make music for 22 years, guys. I started in early 2000. Actually, 1999 is the first time that I really started making music with computers. So that's a little bit of a while ago. So I loaded two instances of uh, of Silent One, which is an excellent synth for to do this type of music. Excellent synth overall. Don't use it so much because I use more Logic First plugin. But you know when I use it. I know this got value to it. So I have an idea, kind of a bass pad, maybe with a pitch bend something in there. So let's see if I can put it down for you guys. I'm gonna go with the black keys to make a bit of a different sound than usual, more melancholic. G, G sound good. Here. I'm gonna give it a more juice here. Open this up a little bit. So you can do all kinds of tricks with this mod wheel. If you have one, that is because you might be only on the computer. This is, you know, something to try on to try to put something. I'm gonna wait until restart the whole time so I can get a sequence about four bars long. Oh, I missed the start. <laughs> restart it again. Hmm. Not certain of this, but oh, so everything but the most important part. Where is it? I think I messed it up, so I will restart again. This is live, this is how it is. G here. So, let's... Mm, I kind of like this better, really, to be honest. A bit simpler. So you can, of course, go and to edit this velocity, I think it's here. No, it isn't here. Pitch band is here, okay. So 
here the pitch band, so if I really want to adapt it to something, do changes. I kind of like the feel of it, so it's nice. I'm gonna go more to the notes here. There was a little something here in the timing. I think it's a bit off. And I think. I think we can do a bit of synthesis onto this, this patch. I think it's cool. It doesn't blow my mind. I think a little pitch kind of... Or maybe just a, like a filter, like a cutoff. Cutoff A, cutoff B, cutoff A and B. that means it will I, I like it like this this is cool you can play with the gain a little bit really push it but I still want this kind of breeze space kind of thing but I want this still want this little buzz and then of course you open the filter that with the pitch shift and this I mean it's a good start for sure So I preloaded an Anjuna pad, for me it's like the holy grail of anything that I do, let's get this Anjuna label on it, it's more Anjuna beats, not so much Anjuna D, but I mean listen guys, Oops, it's a bit loud of course. Now I have those two main elements 
and I think I really need something to kind of tie it together. I'm gonna replicate the MIDI of this. Take this here. First thing I will do is probably drop this uh, pitch band here because I don't think it's gonna be very useful into, let's say, a pad. Bring this a bit higher. Second, guys, I will make it happen. Drop this a bit higher and create a bit of a little simple chord. And I'm gonna go silent again. And I'm into the pad into the pads. So what I want to do now is to kind of tie it together. Actually, I have an idea. So I'm gonna keep this with, with this intense because I don't know, serum tend to crash my computer. So I'm gonna keep this instance there. I'm gonna try to open serum. <clears throat> it's a bit of a problem with me is I bought it from, a, from this splice thing. Sorry, it doesn't work very well most of the time. Sometimes it does. Oh, okay, let's see. I haven't used that immensely, guys, so please bear with me for a second. As I don't even know where to browse. Okay, I believe there's some super cool pads in there, so. Save it. I think this is the best so far. I'm gonna check if it's further. Could be interesting, not quite. Spooky place. Not the type of music we're looking for now. Oh, I think we get something. So see, it's a little bit in the same tone as this little melody, but it's not quite really... Kind of, it's kind of merging with it in a nice way. Let's listen to the pad itself. Super simple, I mean, it's very, very kind of basic, but in the mix, very good. But in now is I'm gonna create a little sand bus. I'm gonna drop... Uh, drop so I'm a bit confused here I'm gonna drop a reverb here so reverb stereo I'm gonna take my preset grandiose a very large room kind of thing I'm gonna send it to it I'm gonna EQ the result of course drop everything kind of under two three hundred a little steeper slope here so now I just give it a lot of dimension, so... I'm gonna replicate what we have, start building. Now the height is coming out a little bit strong here, so... Drop it. I think we have some interesting elements already. Great modulation there with this. I mean, I was gonna... This type of music doesn't necessarily have much leads, to be honest with you guys, so... I'm not gonna go into a lead. Instead of that, I'm gonna go into an ARP. The ARP is gonna be in the back. It's gonna be kind of... 
let's see, flow in the back of the track to really give it kind of like an extra bit of dimension. I'm gonna make the chord a little bit more complex. I'm just gonna add another octave at the top. I'm not gonna make it complex. So with this, I can go here. So want it or not, I think a lot of people break their heads into the wall trying to create electronic music. And I mean, this is only the first step. This is not the final kind of the track. I'm, just, I'm putting ideas down. And of course, after that, can refine, refine, clean, clean, make it like into super, super ideas with a lot of intentions and a lot of groove, you know, but to, to, to break, put it down like this, to have a sound, to be able to generate something in like 10 minutes like that is, is amazing. I'm gonna go into ARP of this synth. I'm not sure I'm gonna have something extraordinary in there, but I'll give it a try. So pad. Where are the ARPs? Oh, they're here. Whoa, that hurt a little bit. Sorry, guys. Definitely not that. We're not going in that direction, that's for sure. I think we'll have to go into Serum again because you know, I use Serum a lot, so I can, I can, who's making Serum again? Uh, Xfer? Is there ARPs in there is the question. Plucked. Sequence. Sequence kind of ARP, I guess. Splice. There's some splice bank. There's nothing in there. You buy it from them, they don't even give you a sound bank. Pff, guys, come on. Uh, user, so I guess I will do sequence because uh, yeah, it's, maybe it's gonna work. Make my life a bit easy, guys. Let's go. But those kinds of mistakes that I like so I'm gonna keep this leave it like it is because I don't really mind it's it's actually very cool then I'm gonna take another version of it and I'm gonna continue so this is some synthesizer that are great because you can just play them and they work this one is great because there's some really out there stuff However, if you're not so good with the synthesis, you're not good really with, with this, it's, it's like, oof. It will take me a couple months to really explore the synth, which I really don't have because I have many other things to do. It's just plain weird. Guys, if you think Serum is awesome, drop a comment below. I still have to, hey, I still have to find my kind of sound in there. I mean, it's just too easy. You just do this and it's there. And what am I gonna do? Change this? I don't think so. And I think if this is for me. I'm gonna copy it, but I think this is too easy. I want to find something a bit more Back. 
check the EQ because I have a feeling, ah, oh, see, I kind of heard this. There's a lot of lows in there that we don't necessarily want in our tour track. Let's see if we can mod this a little bit. The filter here. sequence it. I mean I like the kind of like this this it's kind of I don't know kind of like perfect little rhythmic sequence. I think I would drop this here. This work here very well. Not this actually this one check if there's a lot of artifacts in there, not really. So, so let's listen to the bass here, which has a little bit of this, but then with this pad here. So do I have a bit of a control over the filter here? Okay, that could be great. Then what you need in there would probably be a bit of a vocal kind of chop sample thing, which I can get, I can probably get in, in uh, here is jingles. in the key this is very strange Vocals phrase in, in logic, not the, the best or actual kind of thing. I think I'm gonna go with this this Just chop some of it. I think uh, I'm, I'm on the wrong 
part of the editor I have to be in here to do this so there's some bits that I really like like this here there's another bit that I like part where I try to kind of put something more in the track see if the weeks we sequence them just for fun the, the best part oh, I think it's pretty cool Similar. So definitely an enhancement to the track. Like not run it all the way through the track, but you know sometimes. And then of course we can really. I think it would sound great. Those vocals if we first send it to the verb. Probably do a bit of a plugin in there. Specialize remix. What is this remix? I'm not sure. This is oh, this is. Not, not what I was looking for, guys. I just want like literally a pitch shifter. anything which I think is what's making it cool let's look at the time let's have a bit of time to continue with you guys so let's just optimize what we have here let's bring the pad to this I would might want to make this evolve so I will take this completely here and make this evolve into like maybe a simpler sequence like this sequence here drop the complications that I have here oh it's not even quantized so I'll quantize it now and just maybe try to hit just a simple sequence like this try to settle it in the back maybe in the lower kind of
put on the secondary ruler. We we'll have 30 seconds of a two minute track, so we're definitely gonna bring it up to two minutes. Drop this. So I think we definitely have enough element to start arranging and when I arrange a track personally, I tend to add, remove, change, modulate, change the sound, make it fit. That's why I kept this. I wanted to have like a bit more of like a background melody that I, I think will work with this track. This is cool too, but not in all parts, so... I would, let's let's start a bit of the intro of the track, of course. I don't think I will start with this. It's a bit intense. template of course I'm not gonna make a full-on DJ intro I think after this little part here I'm gonna bring a little bit of the vocal and I think the pad could come in a little bit later like here Definitely had quite like kind of a vocally kind of human element to the track that really works. I'm gonna do two, which I always do, guys. I've always put a lot of automations in my track to create some movement. This is essential. If you don't use automation, you're missing on. I mean, you're missing on the world of, 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 of music and arrangement. So let's play with the. I just wanted to record it, so now it's going to be recorded here. I'm going to pull this here. I like to have the track zoom on. So I can go pick up my parameter here. My parameter is going to be the cutoff. So I can even start it a bit lower if I really want to start slow and mellow. Could also automate things like uh, the LFO send that I did at first part of the session. So I would like to do this, and then just before this hits, I'm gonna open it a lot and then close it right back. Do a bit of a push, not so much, not not so heavy, but enough. to close that early so it's so just when it hits cool I definitely like the sort of this I don't think I'll bring in any keys soon I'm gonna kind of tease the fact that we have something great coming that people should anticipate Great, great music that's just around the corner. Maybe a little dab of. No, not quite. I think. Here, I'm definitely gonna bring this back. that I did earlier I think will work here too. Alright guys, so this is gonna be it for episode 304 of your live electronic music tutorials. I hope you guys enjoy. I really like doing those for you guys. I'm not gonna stop until I hit a thousand. So you have to smash the like button so I keep on going until a thousand. Of course the template's gonna be on our site, we make and until next time with the sound.